What's up, Angel fans? So the Angels finally got their catcher today in Jason Castro. So, woo! I actually don't really know who that was, so I had to look him up. And uh, I've heard, I, I read mixed things about him. First, I, I uh, there was an ESPN article that said basically that he had been having a, last season. It was like hot and cold, so he really picked up, so he could be kind of streaky. But overall, last year. He had an average of a 231 average. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the, uh, that was the MLB career stats, but it's very similar for his 2019 stats. In 237 at-bats, he batted for an average of 232, 13 home runs, 30 RBIs, and a .767 OPS. Now, it doesn't have it on here, but I believe that his on-base percentage was 313, which is pretty good. Um, so, so I read, uh, I forgot what, there was an article that was reviewing, uh, players performances for the year for the twins and they gave him a C because of his streakiness. So they said they would have given a flat out F for the beginning of the season and then an A for the middle of the season. And he kind of like tailed off after the all-star break. And then another negative that I saw was that somebody, another article described his performance behind the plate as atrocious they said that he is was terrible at blocking balls so i'm like man if you know if he's not hitting all that well and he's not really defending all that well this must be all bad right but it isn't there are some redeeming qualities one being that he is an elite framer so hopefully we get more strike calls throughout the season and that you know it may seem like a little thing but we'll take anything expect especially with the bullpen and pitching staff that we have, you know, one and one and one can become uh oh and two, you know? And that, you know, that puts it just changes the whole dynamic of an at bat and that at bat can change the dynamic of a game. So that's, you know, that's a really big positive. And also, although he may have gotten a C grade rating from whoever who follows the twins, he typically he has consistently has above a one war for the season which is a huge step up from what we had, which is our, our, we had a total of five different catchers catching for the Angels last season. And all of them combined ended up uh, having a negative war. So we're going from having a negative war to a plus war, which is great. And hopefully, so hopefully he tears it up. Hopefully he is as good as he was right before the break and um, has a really successful offensive season. But even if he doesn't, at his average, He's better than what we had last year. So that is another step up in my opinion. If you know anything about him, if you're a Twins fan, or if you know more about the guy, please leave in the comment section down below. We would all love to know. And uh, what do you think about this? Is it great? Uh, are you content with it? I know a lot of people weren't uh, happy that we didn't get Yasmani Grandal. People were bummed out when he went to the White Sox. But overall, I see this as a step up. I think he's being paid around $6 million, and we still have enough room to pick up a pitcher, which is something I know everybody's clamoring for, and I know they're trying to get. So, with that being said, leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section down below. If you're new here and you like it, subscribe if you want to see more Angel stuff, more baseball stuff. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.